Hello and welcome to the SciGen PV Max and SciGen Hybrid Installation Guide video. To begin, it is important to select a suitable installation site in accordance with the requirements outlined in the guide. Required clearance space is also essential. Make sure to verify all accessories against the packing list. Before installation, please gather all necessary protective equipment, installation tools, and cables. Remove the M5 screws for the wall mounted bracket and split it into two parts. Mark the holes of mounting bracket by using the level. And drill the holes according to the marked positions. Unscrew the nuts on the expansion bolts. And screw the nuts on after passing the expansion bolts through the mounting bracket. Fix expansion bolts with a hammer and tighten it firmly. Secure the other part of mounting brackets, connecting the inverter by tightening M5 screws. Connect the two parts of the wall mounted bracket to each other. and secure them together by tightening the screws.
Then, attach the protective ground cable to the screw reserved on the inverter. Remove the waterproof covers and plugs on the terminals. Please connect the AC output cable to the designated terminal. Next, insert the RS-485 signal cable and connect the RJ-45 cables as well. After that, proceed to install the SciGen COM mod and W-Line antenna before connecting the two sets of positive and negative PV input cables. Please ensure that PV cable polarities are correct and all cables are securely in place and cannot be pulled out easily. Turn the DC switch on to start commissioning with My SciGen app. Log in and create a new plan by scanning the QR code and providing plant and owner details. Check that the software is up to date. If not, Download and install the latest version and confirm the preset parameters. Conduct a one-click full system check to identify any potential issues with the installation. Confirm all settings. And now you have successfully added a new power plant.